How is everyone? Good. Happy New Year. Yeah. God bless you all. It's really good to see you. I hope for Esti, Gilbert, Elshini, Clarissa, Kenas, Livia, Andre, Jerry. Um, each have to turn on their cameras as well, Papma. So I can see you guys. <clears throat> okay, cool. So I assume everybody is healthy and okay. Yeah. Some of you have smiling faces. Some of you are so serious. Goodness. <laughs> Got to smile more in 2021, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, L uh, bersaing dengan saya dengan warna rambut. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my hair is shorter than you, uh, L. <laughs> okay, that's that's awesome. I don't know what to say. If it's from my perspective, I love it. I say it's awesome, but if we're talking rules and regulation, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, it's great to see you all. Today, as usual, we're just going to go over what is expected um, for Unit 3 for this semester. Oh, last semester of SMI. Yay, hooray. So cool. You're almost done. No more journals, no more logs, no more this and that. Yay! And then you go to uni and it gets crazier, more work, more studying. Yay! Okay, so for my lesson, you will only have one unit, unit three. So it's a pity that you will only finish your book up till unit three. That's just simply because of COVID. If that hadn't been the case, you would have finished almost everything. So... Um, we're only going to do unit three and we will finish with it on the first week of March. Um, if I would squeeze in two units, I could, but you would go, would be too much. So let's not do that. It means that you will only have to make uh, one more writing project, one more speaking project uh, for, uh, for this semester, okay? Um, your ebook for listening and speaking, reading, and writing also. Please remember that your ebook is actually no homework. You have five periods of English in um, actually in a, in a week, right? That would mind mount up if you would have, let me see, yeah. Um, basically, with five times. Um, that would be, okay, so that would be almost four clock hours, yeah? Three, three and a half clock hours, lah, a guy can say, almost, yeah? Uh, three, three hours and uh, 40 minutes, basically, and, and 20 minutes. Yeah, let's say three hours and 20 minutes, yeah? If I uh, quickly do the count. Five periods times 40 minutes, right? So it's five periods, so it's not five hours. Um, so that should a total of clock hours, two hour, two and a, three and a half hour, okay? Now, uh, you will have Zoom, only one hour. That means that the rest of the two and a half hour is your time to do your ebook. Do you understand? So you basically would still be uh, spending five class hours with me. But because we're doing it online, can you imagine being on Zoom with me for, five, for three and a half hour? I don't think so. So that's why it's only one hour. But it means that the other two and a half hours should be allocated to doing your ebook, basically. Your pre study and your post study is basically included in the the additional or the rest or the, what is that? The other two and a half hour. So if you would have the other two and a half hour, you would probably have one and a half hour for your pre-study and one hour for your post-study and you would have gotten everything. So that should not be counted as homework, okay? Is that okay for me to say? Yeah, so your pre-study will be uh, you watching the video and doing your activities uh, in your textbook, and then the post-study would be you doing um, uh, the ebook activities, right? Now, you, 
actual homework is your journal book and your 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 writing and your speaking project. I'm just saying this so you know because some students say we have so much homework. Whereas from four units we went down to two units of, and I I cut the homework over fifty percent. So it's actually you have more time and less homework. But maybe some subjects give you more. I don't know, but I definitely gave you less. Why am I saying this? Because so many of your class hadn't done their homework. And that's why basically, generally, all grades went down. If you're the one whose grade is still the same or went up by a bit, then you're the lucky ones. Because most of you, your grade went down simply because of not doing the homework. So please keep the schedule that I've made. Follow it. If you don't like it, well, within the schedule I made for you, it's not a must. You have the flexibility to arrange it differently, but with the understanding that on the due date, everything is done. Okay, let's just take a look at it, yeah? Here we go. So um, on the schedule, you can see that in January, we only have language, and in the month of February, you will have four meetings for literature. Now, you were supposed to have literature, uh, a book uh, in the first semester, and then a home in the second uh, because in the second semester we have less time but because of COVID and the whole situation we didn't have that but for um, there are four meetings in the month of February that we will do poetry so I already put in the links of the poetry you actually can just go over it can click it and then see it not now but once I upload it yeah I will upload this on Moodle uh, this week okay so then you can actually already go over it or just wait until February. But this is so this is what we're going to do. Uh, as you know, it's the same system. It has pre-study, study and post-study. Why do I start with post-study? Because, yeah, we start off with the introduction today, which leads into post-study. See, this is written wrong. Yeah. So this at home will be the post-study for today's uh, meeting, which will be watching video, listening one, and doing the activities in your textbook, uh, unit three, right here. So I don't put page numbers in, dudes. You can figure that one out by yourself, right? I don't have to write down the page numbers. So just go to unit three and then listening one and follow the video and then do that. And that means that by next week when we have our meeting, um, we will review listening one together and you can ask questions. We'll go over every component. That's why it's so important that you've done it already. Because if you haven't done it yet, then you would be doing it while we're discussing it. It doesn't work. And uh, we will have the video comprehension. And also for your post study, uh, you will do the activities in listening one, your ebook. Yeah. And for your pre study for the next week, we would then be watching the video, reading one. It's the same system as last semester so really pre-study study post study okay now the yellow uh ones are the steps for your project for your speaking writing project so that means that for this week basically we should be starting with brainstorming on the idea or on the material that we could include in our idea we have brainstorm you research you outline okay you always brainstorm first and then with that brainstorm, you go do some research, you look for all the information, and then uh, you sell that one, and then you write your outline, and then you do your writing. That's your your free writing steps, right? So uh, you can just follow it the way I wrote it. Like here's step two research, step two research journal. It's already basically planned for you. And for the post and pre-study, I advise you to follow it as well because this is already the portion of the, as I said, extra two and a half hour. You get my point? So if you were to do your post study for an hour, your pre study for one and a half or the other way around, then you would have already uh, gotten to your five periods of a week. So basically, this is not calculated as homework. The project is though. Okay. Uh, that's why if you do it every week, you won't feel it. But if you leave it, you do it like a week before due date, then you get stressed out, lose your hair, have no appetite, become nauseous, become moody. I don't know. <laughs> you become when you're stressed. Maybe that's me. Uh, so bad. That's why planning people planning. 
Now, and then if we come to the end, let's look at our test week. More important, that will be the first week of March. Now, you got to understand that um, the first week of March actually already starts a reviewing of your guidelines. This is the first and the second weeks is like reviewing of your guidelines. And then you will get your, um, uh, your, your exam, your school exam. Okay? Mid-March. Mid so... Your semester is super short, yeah? Um, meaning that I would still want to give you eight weeks to have you submitted everything here. And then after this, we straight away jump into the, um, the guidelines and all, yeah? So it's important that you've done everything. Make sure you've done everything. Are these scores important? Heck yeah, they're very important because this goes into your second semester report. If you don't do good in this, it will drag down your overall score. You would not want that. So please, people, work ahead. I will try to open certain links even faster. If you want to work ahead, that's allowed by me. If you feel like, Miss, I don't want to pace with your pace. I want to go faster. It'll bole, but I would have to just make sure that I open it. So just let me know. Yeah? Then I'll open the links faster for you so you can pace faster if you would want to. Okay. Uh, for your submission would be Tuesday the 2nd. Yeah. Why is that written in grade 10? It should be 12. That's funny. Okay. Human error. All right. So Tuesday, the 2nd of March. That's the wrong date because, see, I forgot to change that. Wait, give me one sec. You're on the Monday, so that would be the first. Yeah, the first and for grade 12, Thursday, two, two, four. This will be Okay, so this is correct. So you will have uh, submitted everything on the Monday. So make sure that you've got everything ready. And I cannot emphasize this enough because so many make mistakes in this in last semester. Never, ever take a link from another class because it won't get reported. When it comes into another class, I'll delete it. I'm not going to go one by one, delete, change, delete, change. You use the wrong link, you won't get graded. Yeah, um, so access only through your ebook. If you really have a problem with your ebook, I don't know, whatever your reason is, you can ask your friend for the link, but the, your peer, you know, only within your class because every class has different links. Yes? Thank you for that. I will give you a different grading sheet this year, uh, this semester. Um, basically, the grading sheet that I gave you last time works perfectly. But I see that a lot of you are quite, mm, how say, positive, less motivated to click on many tabs. So I'm going to give you one sheet, which uh, is, is only one link, which covers already uh, five tabs underneath, five. So listening, speaking, reading, writing. That's it. So you got to keep track of your own grades, okay? If, if yours is yellow, means you haven't done it yet, okay? And then you will also see the average. So you will have a complete track on how much you get per learning outcome, okay? What I did last time was a bit more, were more tabs, way more tabs. So I changed it to accommodate you. Okay, talking about your uh, speaking project, uh, role play, a consult so role play consultants role advising company so this is what we're going to go over so you're going to do a role play wow how do we do that yeah you would that this is also your speaking um uh what is that your practical exam your oral exam um for the end of this uh this semester uh, I often give a speech, but then again, you guys have done that already. So we'll just do this according to the, um, what is that? The theme. We'll get into that a bit. And for the writing, you will be doing an expository essay. You know, an expository essay, 
is an informational writing, yeah, to expose, to inform information about important qualities to become successful. For a literature, you will not have, uh, yeah, probably I'll give you a very short quiz and um, you will submit a literary analysis essay. It won't be too long, but uh, it will be about uh, what is the title's meaning and significance in relation to the poem. So you will have to write a literary analysis on the significance and meaning of the title of the poem in relation to the poem itself. Okay, that is for literature. That's it. So the only thing that is added for the semest semester is literature. Um, yeah, that's it basically. Okay, let's go to, uh, if there are any questions so far, we can go for that. I would like to, oh. Uh oh. Speaking revolution to the 50%. Let's look at Arnold Starbuck. Okay, here we go. So this is unit three for listening and speaking. Revolution of the 50%. All right. So whatever this picture shows is... Uh, People laughing and talking, yeah? So what does it mean? Let's look at the points. Look at the photo and the title of the unit. How do you think the young woman in the corner is feeling? Describe the time and you might have felt this way. What do you think the 50% in the title means? Now, these two are laughing, as you can see, yeah? Talking and laughing and having a good time. And this one is just like awkwardly, mm, get the point? I think we often are in a circumstance like that where we feel awkward in a position where we really don't feel that we're maybe not really connecting um, in a way. Does that make sense? And sometimes you really feel you can connect when you're with your friends, you feel safe, right? So in this case, we're talking in unit three, we are talking about um, personality. We're talking about personality. That's interesting. Okay, we have evolution of the 50%. So in this case, we're talking about personality. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? What the heck is that? Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. When you're an introvert, you're more quiet, more to yourself. You're not the type to be with people and talk a lot. When you're extrovert, you're definitely like Miss Sylvie, likes to talk, likes to ah, smang it and be with people. Now, one third to one half of people are introverts. Introversion is a natural personality trait marked by a constellation or a collection. Characteristics. Some think introversion is the same as shyness. But shyness is anxiety about social situations. Most people fall somewhere on a continuum between introversion and extroversion. Put an X on the continuum, marking where you might fall on this personality spectrum. Discuss your decision with a partner and then look at page 249 in student activities. Take the informal quiz and find out how accurate you were on your personality spectrum. So we've got introvert ambivert and extrovert so quiet reserved introspective talkative are going in gregarious so where would you be at would you know where you are at in this line i'd like to look at page 249 now um can i give you like uh, three minutes to uh, answer this yeah, this doesn't take so long. I'm going to give you three minutes to answer this, okay? So that is in your textbook on page 249. Just answer with a yes or with a no as to whether the statement applies to you. For instance, prefer to speak one-on-one -on -one rather than in a group. Do you prefer that? Yes, then you click yes. If it's no, then you click no. Or you 
ten bang. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you two minutes. Go ahead. Okay, let's see. Did you guys, uh, you did it already. What was your result? Can I hear from someone? Andre, Andre. Hi, Andre. Can you tell me what your result is? Hello, Miss. Hi, what is the result of the test? Uh, I think I'm MB for it. Okay. Okay, cool. Interesting. I'd like to know, Clara, Clara, what did you get? Uh, mine is also MB for it. Oh, really? Oh. oh, that's interesting. Amel, what about you? Also same like them. <laughs> oh, you have like an equal yes and no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, that's interesting. Audrey, what about you? Uh, I got introvert. Okay, it makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, that's <laughs> interesting. Oh, I like this. L, what about you? Um, I got nine, yes. Yeah, so what does it mean? I, I, I don't have to book with me right now. Oh, okay. So if you have nine out of fourteen, nine out of fourteen, so you're introverted more than that you are extroverted. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Thank you, uh, Marcel. Marcel, what about you? No, Stephen. Stephen. Yeah, miss. Yeah, what is the result of your test? Uh. Hello, hello, Stephen. Yes, miss. Yeah, what result did you get? How many yeses are out of uh, or no's out of 14? Did you do it or not? No? Hello, hello? I don't hear you, Stephen. Okay, uh, I did it myself too. I got, I think, oh yeah, I got four yeses and ten noes. Oh my God, I'm such an extrovert. Yeah. Basically, from there you can see yeah, what, um, yeah, it's maybe not 100% accurate, but at least you get an idea. Let's go back to page 63. So, we're going to talk about personality, so more about that. Now, in your opinion, is introversion a positive or negative quality? Who would like to respond to that? 
Is it necessarily negative or can, is it positive? What is it? So because sometimes it has like a negative connotation when people say, oh, you're so introverted. It's as if it's a bad thing. Can someone uh, respond to that? Belinda? Hello, Belinda. Hi, Miss. Hi, can you tell me what do you think? Do you think that in being an introvert is a negative thing? No. So what do you think? Uh, I think being an introvert is positive. Still positive. Yeah. Why? Because Why not negative? Um, I don't know how to explain. Okay. Try it, guys, if you are opinionated, which is totally cool. Always try to give a reason, yeah? And remember, your opinion is never wrong, but make sure you have your appeal going, your point, your explanation, your example, your linking. Thank you, Belinda. Okay, so yeah. A reason could be, a reason could be, to help you out, Belinda, a reason could be because it's a personality or a character trait. It's the way you were born, right? So, of course, it's not negative like they're just different personality types that's who we are i think it makes the world uh, a, a better place in the sense that otherwise we'll be boring right can you imagine to have five sylvies oh gosh we go crazy yeah <laughs> so no we have only one everybody is different that's the cool thing about it okay so um okay maybe we can uh, look at um the other <clears throat> the other book, The Reading and Writing. Okay, here we go, which is named The Road to Success. We're still talking about personality, but in this case, for reading and writing, our approach is a little bit different. Now, we see here a lady, uh, it's probably mountain climbing, yeah, not, not hiking. Wow, so cool. And if you do that, have you guys ever tried this? Hello, 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 my beautiful people. This is this is really tough law and super dangerous, by the way. I did this before when I was uh, still back in Europe. I love doing this. My brother is a mountain climber, so he would be taking me on trips. I haven't done it in a long time. I think I won't be able to do it anymore with my cracky bones. <laughs> oh, boy. So what are we going to look at? In what ways does the photo suggest success to you? Okay, I'm going to let you look at it again. How does this refer to success? I would like Panya to answer. Uh, because it's finally up. When would it feel like a success then? Uh, when you reach the top. When we reach the top. Very much. And I think it's also a success because it takes a lot of effort. If it would be easy, like a walk in the park, it wouldn't feel like success, right? But this is difficult. Not many people do it. It takes a lot of effort. I think that's also one of the things that shows success. Very good. Thank you, Fania. Definitely. So success comes by you trying. Like For example, when you're going to graduate this semester, that's a success because you've passed like three years. Uh, you passed a certain benchmark and you did it, you know? That's a success. So that definitely doesn't come easy. What is your definition of success? Is it happiness, love, money, being able to help others, pursuing a dream? If we're talking about success, a lot of people have different ideas. A lot of people think about success as when you have a lot of money, you have a career, you have a car, you have a house, you have a so-so, but that. Also people who um, don't care about those things and uh, are focused on other things. So try to think about this, like how would you view uh, success? And what does that mean to you? That's basically what we're going to talk about. So we're gonna look at, um, nah, we're gonna look at uh, the project, yeah? I'm gonna skip the page. Okay, awesome means that's page 90. 
for the listening and speaking. So for your speaking project. Yeah, as I said, you're going to do a role play. Oh, wait, basically, we should go to 86. Yeah, you go from here. In this task, you will play the role of consultants who advise companies on how to build effective teams to achieve better results. Use the vocabulary, the grammar, the pronunciation, and speaking skills that you've learned in this unit. Integrate that into your role play. So... You are portraying a consultant. You are going to advise a company on how to build effective teams and to get better results, yeah, to uh, thrive as a company. And that's what you're going to do. That's interesting. Uh, definitely have to research on that. So what's the background? What's the perfect personality mix to accomplish a given task? The choice can make the difference between success, frustration, or even failure. I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but... How to place people in the right group. Like if you would have a group with only introverted people, it becomes a very boring group. You would want to have extroverted people to make it more alive. But you want to have an introvert to get, bring the balance, you know? So how would you place people together? Yeah, personality. Um, so you are uh, consultants working in a company called Personality Profiles Inc. Personality Profiles is a highly specialized company which advises other companies on how to create project teams to execute large, very important projects, specifically personality profiles. So what you have to do is you have to define the specific personalities of the, per of the people best suited for each project team, interviews, final uh, candidates who will serve on the project teams. This month, personality profiles has been hired by three clients, each with a unique project. So now let's look at what the projects are. Work in groups of three or four to complete items one through three for each project. Yeah. Read the descriptions of the special product from each client. That let me show you first. Here you go. This is uh, client one, Global Space Project International. Yeah, it's an international consortium of space travel professionals. Has asked personality profiles starting to assist in the process of selecting a three-person crew for a mission to Mars. The mission will last approximately 2.5 years. Uh, for those who don't know, in 2024, we will have the first woman to go to the moon. No one has ever been to Mars yet, but we're, they're working on it. This is client two, Canadian Post newspaper. Yeah. He asked a personality profiles uh, Inc. to assist in the process of selecting a three-person team of young university students to accompany a well-respected famous investigative reporter on a 10-city tour of Africa. And we've got one more, Cactus Production Studio the main cactus is leading Mexican movie studio and he asked a uh, personality profiles to assist in the process of selecting a three person team to develop, create and execute a creative and competitive marketing campaign for a new highly anticipated movie by a prom prominent Mexican director and starring a popular Mexican movie star. So basically here we've got three case studies with three companies who are asking. So read the descriptions of the special product for each from each client. Now, in groups, discuss what kinds of individuals would be best suited to perform the task. So, which kind of people would be best suited to perform that given task? Use adjective clauses. Wow, well, remember those adjective clauses? The ones with uh, related pronouns, who, that, who's, and which. People who would not be suitable are, so who? Use expressions for maintaining the confirmation when it begins to die. As you discuss, complete the chart on page 89 with descriptions of the type of team members needed and interview questions to evaluate potential candidates. Present your choices, imagine the class, 
is one of the clients explain the reasons for your recommendations. Now, we can look at it here. Now, this is an, uh, an example. So you could say the client is, let's say, Canadian Post. And then the team members put the names in, person, the name and then the personality. Details and probing questions for the interview that you would ask. And then you have three, right? Because there are three people. Yeah. That's it. So what we're going to do is um, basically what it is asking here is uh, to, uh, uh, to find out for all three. But I'm going to divide you um, with each a different client. OK, and I want you uh, to come up with um, the right personality that is needed for that client in order to, for them to be successful. So I will be making the groups. I will also give who's the leader. It's going to be a role play. So you will have to role play as a client. You have to role play as, um, as the company itself. Yeah. So you will role play as a consultant. And remember that in your role play, you will advise the company that you're assigned to. I'm not going to assign all the companies to you per group one company. Okay. And so you're going to tell them how to build an effective team to achieve better. And then you give in all the traits that are net needed, like uh, what the team member should be, the personality should be like, the detailed personality requirements. And maybe you can uh, ask them, you know, like have it going on as an ongoing conversation. It's basically the whole idea. Does that make sense? We're definitely still going to talk about this later on, but I just want to know if there are any questions so far. Please ask if it's not clear. So I'm not going to assign uh, three companies to each group, just one group, one company, okay? That way you only focus on one. Oh. Uh oh. I'm opening the reading and writing somehow. I think I closed it. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go kind of here. Okay, if you can switch to the reading and writing book and then go to the final writing in your book that's on page 82. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Okay. In this unit, you uh, read the story, the short story, Got a Dance, and Kids Learn Poise Through Dance. A passage that describes advantages of teaching ballroom dancing to children. Right? You will write an essay on the three main qualities. Wait a second. Let me check. Yeah. You will write an essay on the three main qualities that a person must have in order to be successful in life. So you will have to use the vocabulary and grammar from the unit. Okay. So you're going to research this and figure this one out. So what are the three main qualities that a person must have in order to be successful in life? Okay, the first thing you do is you prepare to write. So you do your brainstorm. Here it's written free writing. Free writing is a type of brainstorming. 
in which you can just start writing in and come up with ideas or you do your uh, mind map, whatever, or your list, whatever works with you. So you brainstorm, then use your brainstorm in order to do research to get the ideas and then you outline. Yeah, so make sure. You you hold me. Huh? I think it's still showing the same page before. Okay, thank you for letting me know. So it got confused. Let me, thank you. Do you see this now? Yes, thank you. Oh, uh, cool. Okay, so yeah. So uh, as I said, you're writing an expository essay. So you're going to write on the three main qualities that a person must have in order to be successful in life. So you got, it's not an opinion essay that it's a, a, according to you, but really look at what information you can find of people uh, having researched it or from... Um, Reliable sources that what are the main things? If you want to mention more, it's fine, but at least come up with three main ones. So for brainstorming, you, as I said, you can do a list or a mind map or free writing. It's up to you. And then with that, do your research, come up with uh, good information. Uh, remember, at least four sources and then do your outline and start writing. Yeah. So this is uh, information you will go through while watching the video, yeah? This is things that you'd still have to answer. Let me see. It's more like a practice, things that to practice for our writing. Of course, when you're done with your writing, uh, revise it. Uh, go over it to see what, what is missing and what is wrong. Okay, and then... Um, you will submit your final draft, your final writing. So this is a checklist. So make sure that your essay is divided into clear paragraphs. Yeah. Uh, main points are written in topic sentences. So really have your your uh, topic sentences and also your appeal going. Make sure all the main ideas are well um, illustrated. And make sure that you use the vocab and the grammar of unit three. Yeah. Into your writing. That is basically what we will be doing. So I'm going to divide it uh, with the companies, yeah? So you're not, uh, oh no, that is the speaking, sorry. I'm going to, for the speaking, I'm going to divide the group with one particular company and for the writing, you can just research on your own what the three main qualities that a person must have in order to be successful in life. That means that you will have uh, three body paragraphs, introduction and a conclusion, means that it will be five paragraphs, okay? So make sure that your outline and your uh, essay are both five. If your outline holds five paragraphs, but your essay is six, that's minus 10 points because it's not the same. You cannot. Your outline should be the same as your writing, okay? So make sure that your outline shows five paragraphs, introduction, three body, one conclusion, and your essay also one introduction, three body, and one conclusion. So... Body one would be the first quality, body two, the second quality, body three, the third quality, okay? And then you wrap it up basically like that, okay? Does that make sense, people, guys? Something like that. Now, for the speaking, I will make the groups and let it know, let you know in the, what is that? in the WhatsApp group, yeah? So make sure you uh, keep the group. Because mostly, in the end, you can do search in WhatsApp, you know. Uh, speaking test groups, unit three, it will pop up, yeah? Now for the speaking, uh, one company. So just uh, as you are going to role play, you're a consultant, you're gonna advise them, what is important for them to build an effective team, and to have good results, you can come up with anything. It doesn't matter. You can make it as creative as you want it in the way you want it. But it, uh, the, the exact directions of criteria, like how long it should be and so on, I will post that in Moodle and in e your ebook. Okay, so I haven't done that yet. I'll do that ASAP. Also this week, I will upload the video for listening one. So remember that uh, we are going to Go up, yeah. Um, uh, for the next lesson, which will be next week, 
uh, we are going to uh, go over listing one. So I will give you the video ASAP and you will have a video comprehension uh, during our Zoom. And then uh, remember that then that's the week for your researching, okay? So try to think about what you can do this week for your speaking in your journal. Okay, for the expository essay, I've already given you that information before. You can tap into that, but I will still also upload it in Moodle, yeah? The summary of what it means and what it is. It's just the whole thing, the idea is research it, use the information. Remember that expositive writing is to inform, so it's not, um, it always has a little bit of an opinion because you're the one writing it, but it's not necessarily an opinion essay, you know, that is based on your opinion and give reasons for your opinion, no. And so you write it formal and objectively. And um, remember to place your sources well in your bibliography, okay? Okay, that's it for today, I think. Yeah. If there are no questions, then this is all for today. I will see you again next week. Make sure you watch the video and do the textbook activities, okay, for... Um, next week and start brainstorming on the ideas for your speaking your writing i'm gonna give you the groups in a bit okay Look, <laughs> i miss seeing you guys it's not nice i don't see you Ugh, don't like it okay have a good day today and have a good holiday tomorrow this is weird <laughs> Come on. well we live in bali so Okay, bye-bye, God bless, take care.